Hey guys, like I promised in the last video, we have a pre-evolution segment where basically all of my extra Pokemon reach their evolution levels. Uh, first, we have Abra, aka Odinspack, which evolves at level 18, or 16, 16, not 18, and it evolves into a Kadabra, a very powerful Pokemon. Uh, next, we have Pidgey, which evolves at level 18 into Pidgeotto. We all know this evolution because we've seen it, um, I think, once at this point. Pidgeotto looks really weird in this game. It looks a lot bigger than it should. But there's a lot of first-generation sprites that look really, really weird. Uh, Rattata grows into Raticate at level 20. We know how vicious Raticates can be, but otherwise they're a pretty standard Pokemon, I'd say. Next we have Magikarp, which was a pain in the butt to raise, but I got it up to level 20, which means it's going to evolve into a Gyarados. When I was younger, I used to think Gyarados was so cool, because it's like this giant dragon-looking thing that evolved from a stupid fish, but... As time went on, I learned that Gyarados really wasn't that great of a Pokemon. And finally, Spiro went up to level 20, which means it can evolve into Fero. And that's actually all the evolutions we have for you today, so I'll see you in the uh, actual part of the video. Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Uh, last time we ran some small errands, we caught some more Pokemon, and as you can see from that little preview video, we also evolved a few Pokemon as well. And now we're going to move on to the game, and we're going to actually continue to the SSN, which is Park at the Vermilion Harbor. Uh, make sure you have your uh, SS ticket that you got from uh, Bill before you get on this, because otherwise you cannot get across this guy here. So we flash the SS ticket, and here we're going to go on the SSN. Now there's a lot of stuff you can actually do here. There's a lot of items, a lot of trainers to fight, and just in general, we'll probably be spending a lot of time here. So uh, very quickly, I'm going to explore this ship, try to find some trainers to battle. Um, all my Pokemon are at level 20 now. That was kind of my goal in between the last video and this one, including all of my uh, other Pokemon that I've caught throughout the rest of the game. So that's essentially what's going on right now. And let's start visiting rooms. Um, looks like we have some trainers here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Madam Puff in front. And I'm going to just switch to another Pokemon if I need to. Now a lot of the trainers we'll be fighting here are either sailors or fishermen. But we'll find a few other varieties as well. Uh, fishermen mostly have uh, water Pokemon if you couldn't figure that out. Uh, tentacle is part poison, but I think I should be okay if I switch to Eshmael. Or actually, I should have actually switched to uh, uh, Bellsprout, but because of that poison dual type, Bellsprout won't be as effective as it could be, so uh, Pikachu is probably going to be the better bet here. Oh, dang it. Oh, I forgot all about the confusion that will definitely be enduring during these fights, especially with tentacles. It's going to be very annoying. And the acid also lowers defense, which is also pretty annoying. Plus it has a chance to poison too. Let's hope this hits. It didn't, unfortunately. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. And Pikachu is already dead. That's just ridiculous. Oh, God, I, I freaking hate confusion. Confusion is like the bane of my existence. And here we go again. Some more confusion. Oh God, this is going to be annoying. And what's sad is I feel like my Pokemon are up for this challenge. Like, I don't think my Pokemon are really that weak. It's just that you can get very, very unlucky with uh, battle conditions. I'm going to leave uh, Madam Puff out here for just a second. Now I can switch to Bellsprout. 
because Staryu is not part poison. And then I can just use Vine Whip until it dies. Uh, Bellsprout should be evolving here pretty soon, so we can definitely expect that to happen in this video. Okay, now we have a Shelter. Bring Madam Puck out again. And one thing I am going to try to do, I've been getting a lot of comments from people about this. Uh, I'm going to try to focus on using my main team a little more because I've been doing a very bad job of that. I've been trying to balance all of my Pokemon when, in all honesty, I probably shouldn't have been doing that. So I'm definitely going to try to give Madam Puff a lot more experience. That way we can actually evolve it soon. Um, I plan to evolve it once it learns Body Slam, because Body Slam is a very good move that can also paralyze. So that's, that's definitely going to be my... Uh, indicator of when to evolve it. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. I believe this guy's a sailor. Although he talks like a pirate more than a sailor, in all honesty. Okay, sailor wants to fight. Machop. Okay. Uh, sailors have a slightly different variety of Pokemon. I honestly couldn't tell you what they're absolute variety is or anything like that, but um, sometimes they have fighting, sometimes they have water, sometimes I think they even have like electric Pokemon, so yeah, but it definitely um, depends on what trainer you're fighting or what sailor you're fighting. Okay, I was kind of worried about Karate Chop, but I think we'll be fine. This one will go down pretty easily. And it missed out on using Low Kick, too, which is also nice. Okay, Madam Puff grew to level 21. Which is good, I approve of that. And that Sailor was actually pretty easy. He only had one Pokemon. Uh, any hidden items here? There are a lot of hidden items on the ship, and I honestly don't know where they all are. So just check any, like, major locations before you leave a room, just in case there's something you might have missed. And I guess I'll go ahead and fight this guy. We have another Sailor. Yes, we know you have Pokemon too, we just fought your buddy in the other room, so... We're fully aware of that fact. Unfortunately though, we have to fight another Tentacool. Uh, I think I'm going to use War Portal. I know, kind of breaking my rule of not using Pokemon that I plan to use, but hey, Madam Puff is the only for sure Pokemon I am going to use, so I don't really have much of a choice. Oh right, Tentacool. They also have Rap, so they're another Pokemon that can make use of the very annoying Rap hacks while you're confused, no less. So yeah, Tentacool is a very annoying Pokemon. I've never really tried using a Tentacool before. I imagine it could be a pretty good Pokemon, considering it has a very interesting dual type, where, um, for one, Grass is not as effective because of the dual type. I've always meant to try to use a Tentacool before, but... Never have I succeeded in actually doing it. Mainly because I haven't tried doing it. Maybe in the future, though. I've actually been planning to, uh... Go back and actually get, uh, Pokemon Soul Silver and Pokemon, uh, White. Because, uh... Dang it! Really now? Okay, well, that's stupid. Uh... Let's go back to Madam Puff, then. But yeah, I've been meaning to get uh, Soul Silver and Pokemon White because I actually bought the other versions originally, and like I've had like a big desire to go back and play through those games again. But I really do not want to reset my data on the games I do have, so I want to get the other versions and play through them. So I mean, getting actually purchasing the other version makes the most sense to me. 
but I have not really done anything on that front. I tried looking for a Pokemon White and Soul Silver before I went to PAX, but um, I came up empty on actually finding them. Are there any trainers in here? I think so. Actually, I don't know. I feel like that guy would have actually battled me if I actually was in his range. Oh, okay, no. I guess they adjusted the um, scene distance for that trainer. Okay, we'll go ahead and fight this guy, and then after this I'll probably have to go back to the Pokemon Center because my Pokemon are getting pretty weak, and I want to make sure they can survive. I'm trying not to use Fearow as much because... Um, I really kind of have one more use for Firo, but I don't know if I'll actually need it for that. Because the fourth gym is actually a grass gym, which means Firo would actually be really good. But I might be able to get the uh, flying Pokemon I actually plan to use before then. So that's going to be dependent on that. So I'm probably not going to try to use Firo unless I absolutely have to. Which, that could always be the case. You never know. For now, though, I'll just keep focusing on Madam Puff for the time being. And Bellsprout, once I get Bellsprout back. Okay, next we have Horsey again. I wonder, does this uh, trainer have a Seedra by chance? I don't think, I don't think he gets Seedras this early. Was a thought though. But anyway, um, while I'm actually going through this battle, I have some more kind of bad news. Not really bad news because obviously I'm still recording and everything, but oh god. You know how I was ranting about my laptop and like a video from. I don't know, maybe like two weeks ago? I don't remember the exact date and time. But, um, yeah, so apparently the uh, USB ports on my laptop actually broke, which is why I've been using, like, a different setup for, like, the last two weeks. And to make, matter more, ma ma uh, to make matters worse, um, my laptop was still functional. I could still use it for, like, school and then also just for, for recording audio. I just couldn't use it for recording video. But, um, to make matters worse, my cooling fan for my laptop actually, uh, stopped working, so I have to get it repaired, which is the second time, technically third time, I just count the second time to be part of the first time. This is the third time I've had to get my laptop repaired in the last, like, half a year, so I'm, like, really, really mad about that. So, I'm actually using two different computers to actually record these videos. I'm using my desktop, which is ancient history as far as I'm concerned, and I'm also using my mom's laptop to record audio, which just... I mean, it works, but it's different, and it's inconvenient for the two of us. And I think War Portal's gonna die right here. Or no, he's not. Okay, never mind. So yeah, I've been uh, kind of in my own little laptop hell right now. It sucks, but there's not much I can really do about it. Okay, well is there anything else in here that I might have missed? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Nope. Okay, there's nothing here. Well, uh, before I continue, I think I am going to go back and heal my Pokemon really quick, so hold on a second, guys. Okay guys, I am back. Let us continue now. In this door we have even more trainers, it looks like. Yep, we do. There's a lot of sailors in this area, I have to admit. Although we are on a boat, so I guess I can't be too surprised. And a lot of them have horses. That's a lot of horses. But anyway, now we can focus on trying to get Bellsprout to evolve again. Like I said before, Bellsprout's only one level from evolution, and um, it should be getting very close to it, especially now that we've actually killed a few Pokemon. 
And I also kind of used Bellsprout to help me a little bit in uh, raising Magikarp to level 20. That was a process. Raising Magikarp is not easy. Because it does learn an attack at level 15, which is Tackle, but it's still very weak and it's not going to be able to do very much, so you still kind of have to rely on other Pokemon to actually get it to, you know, level up and evolve. And since we're kind of talking about the whole, like, leveling up session, there's a few things I've kind of decided. Um, not Maybe not really decided, because I've already kind of, well, basically, I already determined I would do this, but um, I did catch a second Abra, and uh, the reason why I caught the second Abra is because, like I said before, you need it for another in-game trade, but um, I'm not going to be doing that in-game trade yet. Technically, I can right after I uh, beat this place, but I'm actually going to use that Abra for another use, and I'm going to be using it to get through the uh, Dark Cave with Flash which is another HM you can use. The reason why I decided to do that is because it honestly would just make things a lot easier for me to get through that area, because I don't want to worry about trying to traverse that place in complete darkness. So, yeah, I decided I'm going to keep that Abra for a little longer, and I'm going to be using it as a Flash Slave. So, uh, that is the first thing I've decided. The second thing I've decided is I am actually going to catch Mew in this playthrough. I finally decided that the uh, glitch doesn't really harm your game, it just, you know, it, it only has like these brief harming factor of being a, unable to pause for a little bit, but like once you actually catch me, that's not going to be a problem. So yes, I am actually going to try to capture Mew in this playthrough. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do that, I might actually do that when I get back to Cerulean after I do everything here in Vermilion, so that could actually be very soon. But yeah, that's basically what I've decided. I am going to capture Mew and make it a 151 run instead of just a 150 run. Okay, so we beat that Sailor. Now let us fight this one. No, what do they say? You're not going to tell me? Well, how very anticlimactic. Well, either way, we have another shelter. Uh, another thing I actually did off camera was I actually bought a bunch of super potions that I could use just in case my Pokemon get low. I meant to use them earlier, but I just didn't think about it, and I didn't think my Pokemon were low in HP enough, but uh, it turns out that they will be after these fights, so I'm definitely going to use one this time. Thank God Bellsprout didn't die right there. And I believe that should actually do it. That should get Bellsprout up to level 21. It does. Now, let's watch a evolution after we learn Stun Spore. Um, do I want to learn Stun Spore? What do I have? You know what? I'm not going to learn Stun Spore. I mean, normally I would probably learn Stun Spore over Poison Powder. But you can actually do some great damage if you combo uh, Poison Powder with Wrap. So that way, um, you know, the opposing Pokemon will be losing health from Wrap and, Wrap and also from Poison too. So that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, Bellsprout Evolution. Bellsprout evolves into... Weepin' Bell. Alright. And I believe Weeping Bell is our 35th Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. All right, perfect. I approve of that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go. Actually, no, before I do that, let me go ahead and use my Super Potions I was talking about earlier. Yeah, I really should do this more often, especially with the way I'm playing this game, but... You know, I never really think about that. Oh, I actually get a Max Potion right here, and what do you want to say? My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Awesome. I have enough strength to move small pebbles, so... Ha! Okay, that's not something to be that proud about. 
But anyway, let's continue. And here we have a gentleman, I believe. Gentlemen usually carry fire Pokemon, so... I'm probably going to use Madam Puff for this. I actually meant to t teach a Madam Puff Bubble Beam off camera, but I forgot about that. I think Water Gun should be fine, though. Especially when you fight a Growlithe, you only use Roar, which doesn't work in trainer battles. Okay, yeah, I really should have taught it Water Gun, because... Yeah, this is not going to work. I mean, it could, but, yeah, Water Gun is just not powerful enough. I just wish Jigglypuff wasn't as slow as it is. Oh, come on, it flinched. That's stupid. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and switch to Shots Rocks then, because I will have to use Shots Rocks in the next area. For the Vermilion City Gym. I might actually make this episode a little longer than usual, just because um, there's a lot of trainers on this boat, and I don't want like this episode, the next episode, like I don't want all three of these episodes this week to just be the SSN, because that will just take way too long in my opinion, so. This episode and the next episode might be a bit longer than usual. Just so I can make sure I get through this area. I might actually do that for a lot of, like, big dungeon areas with a lot of trainers. It kind of sucks that Geodude's burned right now. Rock and ground types might be, um, might have resistance to fire attacks, but they can still definitely get burned. Which sucks, but that's the way this game works. Thankfully though, you don't actually lose health whenever you're burned and walking around. It's still very annoying though. Okay, let's see if we use some more super potions. Move on to the next room. Oh, goody, we actually have another gentleman. You pup, how dare you barge in! Well, the door was unlocked. You could have locked it or something. Okay, Nidoran, that's different. Don't really have anything that's uh, strong against poison except uh, Geodude, but. I think it's ground that's strong against poison. Maybe it is rock, I don't know, we'll find out right here. Nope, it's ground. That's really lame though, because burn also lowers your attack power, and that's going to make this fight take a lot longer. In fact, it's taking too long, so let's switch to something else. <laughs> yeah, let's switch to War Portal. Because that was just taking way too long for my likes. Don't poison me, thank you. Didn't get a lot of experience from that. Dang it, we have the other Nidoran now. Guess I could try using Madam Puff for this. I'll put it to sleep. Oh, it didn't affect it! Thank you, game. Thank you so much. Come on, fine. I'll switch to War Portal again, but only because you're being a jerk. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Jigglypuff's uh, speed right now, if you couldn't tell. It's just way too slow. 
It'll take a while, though, and I guess I could always use some speed-increasing items in the future. Plus, it's at level 23, so it's gonna definitely be able to make up for that soon. Okay, we got rid of you. Let's go into the next cabin, which has a girl. Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. Well, you can go get it yourself, because I'm not a waiter. And in here, let's see what do we have here. Oh, we actually have a girl and her... Oh, her Wigglypuff. I might have a Wigglypuff of my own soon. And who are you? Okay, I guess you're that girl's father. Okay, next room. Oh, uh, I think we have a lot of trainers in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll do this room, and then I'll probably end the video after this. Okay, I think the, I think that girl is not a trainer, but this guy is, and the other girl is. Okay, youngster. Nidoran. Okay, what's with all the Nidorans? I'm not really liking fighting all these Nidorans right now. Especially when they have one attack. Oh, come on! Given, I don't think Sing's accuracy is very high, but still. It would be nice if it worked from time to time. Okay, that youngster is defeated. You can also pick up the item too, which is a TM-08. Guess I can see what that is. Oh, Body Slam! Okay, that's cool. I'm not going to teach it to Jigglypuff though, because it'll learn it by itself. Okay, and that's Rest, which is a pretty good move. It, it has its uses for sure. Basically, it puts your Pokemon to sleep, but you also recover all of your health. So if you give it to a high tank, which is what Wigglytuff will end up being, it'll actually be a pretty good move. But anyway, next trainer. Could use Jigglypuff for this. Let's see how much damage that does. Okay, it does a decent amount. Okay, yeah, I think I can use Jigglypuff for this, as long as my... Accuracy doesn't screw me up. Which it's going to, I can already tell. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being kind to me, game. And what is with the frickin' Nidorans? Gosh. Everybody and their sister, brother, mother, uncle, aunt, grandmother in the world has a Nidoran, apparently. I have my way of taking him out, though, even though it is kind of slow. Oh, come on! Okay, well, I'm definitely going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center after this. This way I can get, actually get rid of Geodude's burn. And then also this poison, too. Okay, well, let me check out this last room first. Maybe there's not a trainer in here. No, there's not. There's this guy. And he's just looking for Team Rocket. Okay, I think that's actually a good place to end. So this has been Pokemon Trainer Rob. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for more of the SSN. Later, folks.